Number 24. How much pressure is transmitted in the hydraulic system considered in example 11.6? Express your answer in pascals and in atmospheres. All right. So um, in terms of, I guess, here's the example that they're talking about. So we have a certain um, force here, 500 newtons being created at the master cylinder, uh, which is going to be located, oops, uh, over here in the picture. And uh, the diameter of that master cylinder is going to be 0.5 uh, centimeters. So Basically, thinking about Pascal's principle, right, it's, it's asking us to find out how much pressure is transmitted in the hydraulic system. Whatever pressure is created in the master cylinder will be the pressures also at the slave cylinders uh, in the picture. So basically, all I really need to do is calculate the uh, pressure at the master cylinder, and that pressure at the master cylinder will be the pressures on every cylinder in the uh, diagram. So the pressure on the master cylinder will be equal to the force on that master cylinder divided by the area of that master cylinder, right according to this equation over here on the right-hand side. So the pressure is going to be equal to, and remember, again, the pressure at the master cylinder is the equal to the pressure transmitted throughout the whole system, all right? is equal to the force at that uh, applied to the master cylinder, which was 500 newtons, divided by then the area. So it's a cylinder, right? So the square... Uh, well, the square area, but I, I really want to say the surface area of it is the uh, area of a circle. So we're going to be dealing with pi r squared here, right? Now, they told us the diameter of the uh, cylinder, but we need to know the radius, right? So simply take this diameter of 0.5 centimeters. Now, remember, we need it in terms of uh, meters, right? So it's going to be uh, 0 0.005 zero, this is how many meters it is, then divide that by two to find the radius, and then square it, okay? So here, now the pressure that's created to the master cylinder is simply just this calculation. So it's going to be 500 divided now by pi times parenthesis 0 0.005 over 2, and square that. And we get a value here of about now 2.55 or so, right? Considering rounding, it looks like times 10 raised to the 3, 6, 7, times 10 raised to the 7 newtons, okay? So this is the pressure uh, created by the master cylinder, and this is the pressure of the hydraulic system throughout the, the hydraulic fluid, basically. Um, then it wants us to express the answer in atmospheres, so we have to know the, what am I talking about, newtons? This isn't newtons, it's a pressure. <laughs> it's Pascal's, just seeing if you guys are paying attention. Um, so now we have to uh, convert that value into um, atmospheres, so the conversion is as follows, 2.55 times times 10 raised to the seventh Pascal. And there are 1.010, oops, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascals in every one atmosphere. All right, that's the conversion factor. So simply take your answer, divide it by now 1.013 times 10 to the five, and we get a value of now about 251, right? 251, and this is now in terms of atmospheres. All right, so those would be the two answers. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.